I told somebody, I said, there is just one true God. And so many gods. If you miss the contact with your God, you will begin to miss strange gods. Most of you that are looking for help in different pastors, if the day you walk out from your true God, you cannot see him anywhere anymore. The God of every man is one and is located in the place. I have said it many times. The God of Adam is in Eden. That God who doesn't leave that place. Anytime Adam wants to fellowship with that God, he will come to that meeting point to relate with that God. That is why when God, Adam, God came to the point of his, his fellowship, God is always there waiting for Adam. And he said, Adam, where are you? Adam said to the Lord, I am naked. God did not live where he is to go and look for what Adam was doing. He said, Adam, where are you? Adam, God was in Eden. But Adam has left the place of their fellowship. God did not live there to go meet Adam. Your true God will never leave his point to follow you, to look for any help. Anytime you want that God to help you, come back to the point where you meet, where you establish a covenant with that God. That was why he said, Adam, Adam, where are you? God was in need there, but he was not seeing Adam. Because Adam has left the place of their fellowship. Adam has left the place of their meeting. Adam has left the place of their contact. And the God of Adam does the God of every man is located in a place. And God said, Adam, where are you? Adam said, Lord, I, I, I am in one corner here. The Lord said, I don't have the ability as a spirit to leave that corner to come and look for you. If you want to have a meeting with me, you should come to our meeting place. Genesis 39. Genesis 39, yes. Then the Lord called to Adam and said it, to him, Where are you? Genesis 3, verse Yes, he God called to Adam and said to him, to him where, where are, you? are you? Stop there. Why should God be looking for him? If Adam is in the place where he normally be going, there is a place Adam meets God. I want to ask you, where does your God dwell? The God of every man dwell in one place. If you are fellowshipping in Zion, you are fellowshipping in Camperon, you are fellowshipping in Ziana, he said not the same God. He can never be the same God. The God of every man is one. Deuteronomy 6 verse 4. Deuteronomy 6 verse 4. Hear, O Israel. He said, Hear, O Israel. The Lord our God. The Lord our God. The Lord is one. The Lord God of your God is one. Tell somebody, our God is one. Our God is one. If you miss that God, do you know when Adam left Eden, Eden, he lost contact with his God forever. But Adam began to meet other gods. But he did not meet that true God again in Edom. He began to meet Satan is living outside Edom. Marine spirit is living outside Edom. Occultic spirit is living outside Edom. Igbe spirit is living outside Edom. Okaka spirit is living outside Edom. Spirit of the tree is living outside Edom. The Sapati is living outside Edom. The Mame spirit is living outside them. So there are different gods outside your God. So if you miss your God, you will meet God, but not longer that God. You will get vision, but not from that God. So I want to ask somebody, where is your God? Where is your God? No, don't point to you that we close and go and meet one pastor in, in a full market. I say, Pastor, I, I'll be looking. You don't know your God. You that hear that they are giving prophecy in Catherine, you are already there. You will hear that Papa have prophetic meeting. You are here. You are confused. You will soon move. The Bible says immediately Joshua saw his God around Moses. The Bible said Joshua built this tent there. And God came to Joshua. He said, Joshua, this book of Moses, Moses will remain your God. He said, meditate on it. He said, because it's from this God, this Moses, that I will give you help and prosper you. He said, the day you walk out from Moses to look for another God, you will be delayed. You will be delayed. Is somebody hearing me this meeting? 
If you meet your God, until that God help you, you will not leave him. Job said, I know the days of my life that if a man die, he will not live again. But all the days of my life, I will wait for this God because I have met him as a God until he answer me. If you didn't answer me, so be it. I will never submit to any other God because did I met this God, I was convinced that I've met the God of my life. Go to that Job. Job 14, verse 14. Job 14, 14. If a man dies, if a man dies, shall he live again? Shall he live again? All the days of my heart. All the days of my life. I will wait. I will wait. Tell somebody. It will take man that has, has a conviction that this is my God forever. God of Zion, if he did not answer me, I will stay like this. So God of Zion, answer me. Because if you did not answer me, I will stay let the earth mock me and you. Because did I met you? I, 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 a spirit in me told me that I have met my God. You showed me a sign that you are my God. I was convinced by every spirit in me. And the spirit in me told me that you will help me, that you are my God. So there is no any other God if you don't help me. Arise if you are my God and help me. Because I will wait for you. Anytime you come here, hit him. Say, I'm waiting for you. Say, are you still sleeping? I'm going nowhere. <laughs> you are my God. Beside you, I don't have any other God. Arise and prove to men that you are God. How are you talking to your God, self? When you have a covenant with your God or you know your God, he will understand you know him. They that know their God, knowing is important. There is no exploit for a man. Job met God and set and manipulated everything Job had. Job wife told Job, let's go and look for help anywhere. Job said, outside this God of Israel, I will not look for help anywhere. He said of me to go before any other God to look for help. Let me die. Let this God of Israel watch me die. Job wife told Job, cause this God, let's look for another God. Job friends told Job, we saw a place. The woman is using white and yellow candle. He helped somebody when he burned candle and kicked in the fire. Job said, the God of Israel doesn't kick in the fire. His blood is enough to redeem me from the hands of the enemy. I will look upon the hill where cometh my help. My help cometh from this Calvary. Job told friends more Job. And told Job, we're going to leave you, make you die here. Job says, it's not better that I die in the presence of my God helpless than to go to other God that is not part of me to naked me. It's not better I remain like this. If this God I know with all power, all mind, all strength, if this God of Victor Great that I saw in 21 days and he went and come back, he can't help me. Damn it, there is no other God. If what I saw is not redeeming, God is fake. Joshua 24, 15. Joshua 24, 15, yes. And if it seems evil to serve the Lord. He said, look at it. And he said, if it seems evil to, to, serve to you, to serve the Lord. Choose for yourself. Choose day. for yourself these days. Who you will serve. Whether the ghost which, your father, the ghost which your father served. That we are on the other side of the river. Serve where they are, that we are on the other side of the river. Or the God of the Ammonite. The God of the Ammonite in whose land you dwell. In whose land you dwell. But as for me and my household. But as for me and my household. We will serve, we will serve this God of Moses. I said, outside one God, there are many gods. There are gods which your father serve. There are gods who dwell in Amorite. There are gods dwelling in, in Kabbalah. There are different gods in every church, in every street.
Most prophets are from Mare. They are prophetic eyes from the water. Most pastors are cultic. Their prophetic power is from an image in the world group. Every miracle we see in the church is not from God. Some are from different gods. But hear the word of God. Until you know your God, you will keep on meeting strange, looking for strange help in the hand of different gods. <laughs> 